Aries, what is going on, my dears? Keep it there, please. It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Several, my darlings. I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of September 2020. Show me the money energies. Big shout out to every last one of you who has clicked this video. Shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of you guys who has been showing any type of support who has been sending love donations who's been booking readings who's been donating um debts through the amazon wish list you guys are absolutely freaking amazing and i love each and every one of you guys um if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me or if these videos resonate and you want to send some love and support to this page only thing you need to do is check the description on this video or check the about tab on my youtube page all right excuse me hold on <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, my throat was itching. Um, in both of those sections, you will see my pricing list. You will see how to contact me um, in the, in the um, instructions on booking. And basically what you need to do is contact me on Instagram Messenger. I do the video readings through Instagram Messenger. If you do not have an Instagram, um, you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com and I'll help get you all set up on Google Hangouts. It's a free app to download and the only information that we need to exchange amongst each other to connect is our email and you already have mine which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and then once we get you all set up on Google Hangouts we can connect and do the video reading okay and we'll be all good to go there. So again um, if there's any personal questions or any concerns or if you just want to reach out to me again Instagram is the best message to reach out to me all right and Instagram, which is email me again at scorpionreds at gmail.com. All right. So, Aries, we're going to get into this reading. We're going to get into this energy for September. We're going to give God thanks for all of the clarity and everything that he's been bringing to us. Father God, I just want to thank you so much for reaching your hand down on the side of Aries. Father God, thank you for pushing us out the way and keeping us at bay. Father God, thank you so much for just feeding us and teaching us and educating us and help leading us to the direction that we need to go father god thank you for all of the glory that you brought into our life because they don't know our story they don't know our stress they don't know our struggle they don't know our troubles that we done came and uplifted ourselves about it father god so thank you so much for being determined to just pull out the best of us no matter how many times we bump our heads no matter how many times we scrape and bruise our knees and we fall you always there to pick us up and just give us that encouragement you know so that we can believe in ourselves, father god and that's the thing that we've been doing every single day is just finding that encouragement and self-love and belief in ourselves and our trade skills and abilities and know-how father god so we thank you so much for all of this education and this love and this support father god um help us be able to to take care of our obligations during this time father god give us the guidance that we need during the month of september for the sign of aries thank you again for all of the blessings in the past present and future amen amen and amen come on now. <clears throat> come on now let's let me get some water y'all because i don't know why my throat is all or whatever so I don't know if you guys have been watching the other readings, but if you have, you already know how we want to do things today. I have this deck here um, that came from a game. It's called What Do You Meme? It's some cute little memes from off of the internet and stuff like that. Some things that you might have seen. So we want to use these as like an emotion uh, card. Trying to see what's like going on in the emotional energy around the sign of uh, Aries right now. So, and we want to put the cards face down. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. As soon as I said we were going to put the damn all cards face down, I heard face down ass up. <laughs> yes, Lord. Come on now. You know how they like it. You know how they like it. What is this that done flipped over here? Ooh. You got the freak out button. Ooh. You got the freak out button. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> <coughs> Number one, Aries. Homie look high as shit right now. I don't know what he done saw. I don't know what happened. But I feel like y'all are just ill prepared because y'all high or y'all fucked up. And y'all was just like not in the mood to like be dealing with no shit with you hitting the boop panic button. God damn it. Y'all, I'm back. So, sorry for the disruption. But it's just like, 
I'm really, really getting here that you guys are like being caught off guard by something, and it's like, uh uh, y'all playing too much. Time out, panic button, because y'all tripping right now. Y'all blowing my high. Y'all tripping right now. Y'all need to chill the fuck out. Like, what the fuck is going on with y'all? Like, I don't, it's just like, I don't know if y'all watching someone fighting. It's like a domestic. I don't know if y'all out at a party or y'all in a situation and y'all about to see. It's like some commotion and it's like. I feel like I don't know if like y'all end up going to a party or like a pool party or something and y'all was y'all witnessed like a shootout or something like that. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting like someone was in a situation where y'all was in a daze. Everyone's been drinking, smoking, enjoying themselves. And then all of a sudden it's just a complete freaking mayhem. And you just sitting there just stuck like what the fuck just happened. You know what I'm saying? So let's continue to go. As you can see, that's the energy. Y'all be careful, especially if y'all been going out to a whole bunch of parties in y'all city, a whole bunch of stuff going on. Because, you know, I don't know about y'all city, but I'm from D.C. My city be lit, okay? And it has been, like, a lot of stuff been popping off, you know what I'm saying? It has been a lot of stuff popping off, so y'all just make sure that y'all be safe, number one, that y'all putting y'all mask on. And if y'all see some wild shit going on, don't be sitting there in no days looking stuck like to panic button. Freak out. It's time to get the fuck up out of there. Like, I'm dead ass serious on that, y'all. So y'all make sure that y'all watch yourself with that. Y'all watch y'all environment because I definitely see y'all getting caught off guard with something. Ever, y'all gonna witness a fight, a domestic... Y'all gonna be somewhere, it's gonna be a shootout or something crazy going on. So I'm definitely seeing that. Y'all just be careful, man. And everybody else been just getting one card. I feel like both of those emotions, like for you to understand what was going on and why you needed to hit the panic button because you're like, oh no. Nah. <laughs> Y'all be some dead ass lunch right now. Like shit. So, and if um y'all are watching in the video right now, if there's someone that could politely and kindly, graciously put a timestamp in the chat, once I get all the cards laid out and I start to read, and that would be good. Now, um, in my head, I'm, I'm hearing a song, if you want to be somebody, if you want to go somewhere, you got to wake up and pay attention. <laughs> and they really want me to sing it. Hold on. <clears throat> if you want to be somebody, if you want to go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. If you want to be somebody, if you want to go somewhere, you better So, look, Sister Act, okay? Lauren Hill and, um, who was that? It was Tanya, what's her name? Tanya Blunt? That's just Tanya Blunt could sing her ass off. I sing because I'm happy. Look, I ain't trying to be up in this motherfucker singing like that. But, uh, but, uh, uh that message needed to hit somebody, like, I feel like someone's been too high, too in the days, like wasting time a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Wasting time a little bit. And I feel like someone needs to snap out of it. If you want to see somebody, if you want to go somewhere, like you really got to wake up and pay attention. Like you got to snap out of it. Because it may be something going on in your energy right now that you may be freaking out about. And it's like something that you could do. And like this is the... The card that you got for the doors, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like coming out of that dungeon a little bit. Like, y'all might be in a dark space right now. Might be over, over medicating. That's what I'm saying. Because he is high as a motherfucker. Like, he can't even react really to what's going on around him because 
his brain is in the damn fog. All right, y'all. So let's get into this. So let's clarify what's going on over here with sugar pudding. Okay, this is the five of pentacles in the reverse. So again, like this is basically telling me like uh, you guys need to come out of this 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 high this 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 days this um, overindulgence with drugs, liquor, um, smoking. Um, I feel like you guys could, y'all not getting enough sleep, y'all not getting up, enough rest, y'all could be staying up, like, doing a whole bunch of video games, and, like, I'm, and I'm, I'm being honest, like, I'm getting somebody that might be doing coke, staying up all night, like, how on coke, doing a whole bunch of shit, I don't know, but I did this nigga look high as shit, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? And, and the five of pentacles in the upright, that's like someone in a state of black, a place of sickness, like bad health and stuff like that. So it's like, with the five of pentacles being in the reverse, that's like you coming out of that. Something that happened in your life where it's like, you know, you hit the panic button and it's like, maybe I don't, I don't want to be high no more because... I don't want to be discombobulated and be caught off guard when crazy shit pop off. Like, could you imagine yourself being real, real drunk and high and just all of a sudden, like, it's a fucking shootout and you just stuck and you or you too drunk or too, you know what I'm saying? Inebriated to actually function on a high level to get yourself out of danger. You understand what I'm saying? So it's something that could have happened. You know what I'm saying? That made you think about your self worth. It's like, what am I doing? If you want to be somebody, you got you, you want to go somewhere. You got to wake up and pay attention. So like maybe in the past, you guys might have been sitting up in the tree talking, hanging out with your friends, not doing nothing like hanging out with the misfits that's kind of what I'm getting and again I don't want anybody to get um offended by what I'm saying but I'm just I, I'm I'm going to read what's on the table like I'm not here to um I can't help you if I don't tell you what I'm seeing this av is your energy this is someone in your energy that you're dealing with it's like someone needs to chill out on the drugs they need to chill out you know what I'm saying and it's like you got to think about your self work you got to think about your wellness you know your wellness. And it's like you can make so much better of yourself. But you have to come out of this state where you constantly have to be under some type of substance to function or something like that. And it's like you hanging around the wrong crowd. So it's like you may, you may be letting in the blessings because you may be. Getting out of your own way. Because something happened in your life where you freaked out. What is this? The Knight of Wands in the reverse. So the Knight of Wands in the reverse is someone that has an in and out energy. Some, something that isn't um, stable. You know what I'm saying? Someone who isn't stable. Like the Knight of Wands could be someone who quick, quickly loses their passion. Could be hot tempered a little bit. Because like... This could very much so be an airy sign that is um, mature, but can still act very immature sometimes. Like, instead of, like, um, addressing something and, like, really putting the facts out on the table, like, they'll catch an attitude and just leave. You know what I'm saying? And they'll just, in the middle of a conversation or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, um, there might be a lot of open-ended uh, situations that needs closure you know what i'm saying like you might have left a lot of things undone because it's like you blowing my high panic freak out gotta go you know what i'm saying so um and then this could have something to do with sex your your sexual paralysis and things like that so it's like um there can be something that has to do with one of your lovers that might throw you off guard a little bit because the Knight of Wands is someone to me who has many, many lovers. It's like Papa was a Rolling Stone, wherever he, he lays his hat is his home. So I feel like there's something that's possibly going to be discovered here amongst the lover that may make you want to tap out. Like, hold on, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold on. And it's making you think about your worth and what you've been doing a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because... It's like, I want something that is really going to stand the test of time. Like, these people that I might have been running around with, like, I really wasn't 
thinking about having no obligations or you know what I'm saying like staying like it didn't have any staying power or something like that so it's like you may be at a point right now like something freaked you out and it really made you think about your worth and it's like maybe these, this is people that you smoke and drink with and you have like a party like a rock star lifestyle with or something and it's like I just feel like you just don't want it anymore. What is this release? Yeah, it's like you don't want it anymore. Like you releasing that shit. It's just like it's time for you to transform. It's time for you to like grow past all of the energies in the past. With like I feel like you were hanging out with the low lights, with the outcasts and stuff like that. Like you might be hanging out on the corner with all the drug dealers, the pimps, the thugs, the hustlers. You know what I'm saying? Like. They may get their money illegally or, you know what I'm saying? They may have to scratch at the bottom to get to the top type of thing like that. Like, I feel like you don't want it that way anymore. I feel like you're past that. And something has, I got to see what happened. What happened? The thief in the reverse. So, um, okay, they just said, I'm not going to allow no one is still my valuable time anymore it's just okay so they said i've been shut out all of this time and it's like now you finally let me in and it's like i don't even want to be here you know what i'm saying because it's it's like you stole so much of my time it's like you stole so much of my time and i devalue so much of my worth you know what i'm saying it's like i'm not going to allow you to do this to me anymore i don't i don't know why i feel like this is someone speaking to the aries though especially if it's a male aries i feel like there is someone that avidus person doesn't take life seriously or something like that it's like this person doesn't take life seriously if you want to be somebody, you want to go somewhere, you've got to wake up and pay attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to allow this person to keep stealing my time, my essence, my energy. It's like, I need to release this. I want better for myself. I deserve better. I am better. Like, why am I hanging around outcasts and low lifes and things like that? Like, this could have been someone who could have let, like, an outcast or, like, a street thug or somebody that just really didn't have too much going for themselves come into their house, come into their life. And could have disrupted. And it's like. You're not going to keep coming in and out. You didn't took too much from me as it is. Like I'm good. I'm over it. Let's see what's next. You got the sun card. So the sun card. Again this is something that's being revealed. You feel warm. You feel comfortable. You feel happy. You feel a sense of rebirth. Of resurgence in your life. Like a resurgence of happiness you feel like a warrior you know what i'm saying like something that's really been illuminated to you where you could really really see now you know what i'm saying like too much of your time has been stolen from you too much like this person stole too much energy from you this person stole too much energy and it's like you see that now and it's like this is someone that I don't want to say anything. They're saying something about childbirth. They're trying to say something about a childbirth. What is this? The eight of bonds in reverse. They say that they knew something was wrong since the childbirth or it's like they knew something. They knew something since the childbirth. That's what they're trying to say. Like the sun does represent like birth, like new life and things like that. So it's like and this is the eight of wands, like the eight of wands in the reverse could be like slander, gossip or something like that. It can mean lack of communication, it can mean someone being blocked, um, could mean like there could be a delay in like 
future prominence. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Like someone could have... Uh, You feel like someone was blocking the sunlight. You understand? And that's why you had to block them. Like they stole your time. They stole your essence. You feel like they stole your generosity. You know, like um, there could be rumors. There could be gossip going around with this person. You know what I'm saying? Something that could have caught you off guard. You might could have confronted them about this. And they're sitting there looking like this. Now they freaking out and want to leave again. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like. The Knight of Wands in reverse, the sun is down here. It's like they don't want to reveal whatever it is. It's like they rather just leave. You know what I'm saying? They rather just freak out, hit the panic button and leave. It's just like, uh, what? Like, I ain't expect you to be like, yeah, no, motherfucker. I know my worth. I know, you know what I'm saying? I feel like this is someone that is like standing up for themselves. They really understand now, like, what God has been trying to teach you about this person and about this situation. It's like, stop talking to them. It's like this, I even feel like this person could be talking about you to other people. It's like this person could be childish or that there could be another child. There could be a rumor of another child. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or this person could be a thief. There could be money missing. There could be, you know what I'm saying? It's like, but really this thief card, you see how the little dude is like trying to steal the watch. It's time. You understand what I'm saying? It's time. So it's like. Again, I'm not allowing this person to steal my happiness no more. So I'm just going to block this person off. What is this? Judication in the reverse. So, like, you could have felt like you could have had lack of judgment. And you could have went to someone else about the situation and said, look, this is what I see. This person is constantly in and out. This person is high and drunk all of the goddamn time. They be out there hanging in the street with thugs. I keep trying to tell them to come out, come in the house. They want to hang outside. You know, I feel like I lost a lot of time. I really want to release this. There's something that, like, God keeps trying to reveal to me, but it's like I've been blocking it. And uh, you know what I'm saying? With, through my own childish behavior, like, I've been, I feel like y'all have been open to outcasts or something like that. Like, I really do feel like that. Because the son could be someone that's being childish as well. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I was playing around too much, but now I see, you know what I'm saying? And whoever this was, it's like, I feel like they agree with you and saying, like, they're agreeing with everything that, I mean, like, it's like you're, you're, you're saying it yourself, you know what I'm saying? So it made it easy for the judge to, like, to deny the frequency of, like, this communication or something. So I don't know if, like through court or something that could have been like a restriction granted like where someone has a restraining order like they're not able to speak to you like you can't go online and post any slanderous remarks against the person or anything like you are completely like blocked you you know what i'm saying like i don't know if there was something where it was like something going on in the rumor mill And it could, and it could very much so, it's like, this person could have been in someone's inbox talking about, like, fellatio and just, like, oral sex or whatever. Like, yeah, you already know what the mouth hitting on. You already know, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, you could have seen messages or, like, something like that. And it's like, I'm not going to allow this person to steal my time anymore. And it's like, you're right and the judge is right. The judge agrees with you. You were not demonstrating good judgment in dealing with this person. And... You know, this person's childish ways has been revealed. Stop allowing this person to steal your time and release them. You know what I'm saying? What is this? Is this the King of Wands in the reverse? So this is the King of Wands in the reverse. Again, this person is just about sex. I feel like this person, the only thing that they really have to offer is sex. The King of Wands in the reverse can be someone that's lazy, that can act lethargic, that doesn't have any motivation. Like, they could be very attractive, but don't make their self attractive do you understand what i'm saying like this could be someone that's very attractive but don't shave and don't bathe all the time and don't do what they're supposed to do like if you like ha like 
if I look that good, I would be coming out the door looking fresh every day. I would be looking like a, you know what I'm saying? Like if I had those looks, like I wouldn't just let it go to waste. If I had that talent, I wouldn't just let it go to waste. So this is like someone that is like letting all of the good shit go to waste and they thrive in their lower frequency. You know what I'm saying? So like this person could be like, um... They're definitely not a pushover, but this person could be hot-tempered. Like, this could be who people come to for muscle. Like I said, I, I I really do. I don't know why in this Five of Pentacles, I'm getting, like, someone in the street life. Like, this is someone that hangs out with thugs, and they hang out. You know what I'm saying? Like, they get money in, like, a low vibrational way or something like that. Like... Or they have women that take care of them. Look, the Knight of Wands in the reverse, the Knight of... Uh, the, the king of wands in the reverse so it's like this person could very much so be older but it's just kind of like stuck in that character like stuck in that way like this person is not going to change like they're not going to get a job like they're not going to elevate their frequency it's just listen someone that lives in the lower frequency that has like kind of a dark dungeness type of fucking energy with them what does it say it's heart healing so it may be time for you to just heal your heart and like I said, understand your sense of value and your sense of worth throughout the situation because it's like, shit, you better than this person. Like if this person want to fuck their life up and be high and miss out on things and just want to use their dick to run around and let women take care of them while they run around out there in the street and hang out with fucking street bums and stuff, that's on them. A lot of this person to go steal somebody else's time. Don't allow this person to steal your time anymore. It says heart healing. Morning has now had its time. Do not pay it a single dime. Emerge from the darkness. A new day start. Let light embrace the healing heart. Heal your heart from this. And I'm, and I'm going to be honest. Like If this is the male energy that's watching this. And this is you. And you know that I'm talking about you. You know that it's like. You're just letting time waste itself away. You're just getting high. You're not doing anything with yourself but running around having sex. Possibly creating babies. Like, there's a whole bunch of gossip and shit going on about you. You could be angry because people are talking about you and things. But you're giving people things to talk about. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you need to release this energy and understand your self-worth. And you need to have better judgment. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever it is that might have hurt you in the past that has you operating in this low vibrational frequency like you could even be someone who might have had a time in your past where you were in and out of jail or you might have had a lot of issues with the law and stuff like that and it's like you know what i'm saying like when are you going to get tired of that you need to heal your heart and you need to release that and it's time to move on past this what is this here this is the ace of cups again so it's like it's time for you to love yourself it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to open up yourself to love in a real way. Because I feel like whoever this Knight of Wands, this King of Wands energy in the reverse is, it's like, I feel like only thing that you, I mean, I'm not going to say that you don't love yourself. You do love yourself, but not if you out here drinking and doing drugs to the standpoint where it's like this, where something traumatic can happen and you too high to, to function or to operate on all fucking cylinders like a normal human being because you sit over here blasted out of your fucking mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, what this is saying is love yourself on a deeper aspect. Like, really take care of yourself. Really open up, your, release that old energy and really be open and let the good in because, like, the Five of Pentacles in reverse is like all of that struggle, all of that lack. All of the pain, all of the suffering, the sickness, the illness, the deaths, the, all of that stuff like that. Like you could even be someone that might have mourned a lot of like your elderly relatives might have passed away or something recently or something like that. Like within the most recent, I want to say five years, it could have been like maybe a few people, you know what I'm saying? That were really substantial in your life and you might feel alone out here, you know, and it's like. But you're not. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like you're you're not. It's like the worst is over. Like, that's what it's saying. It's like you're covered. You have protection. You have support. You have people that help you. You have people that love you. You know what I'm saying? But you have to let yourself in. You have to open the door. So 
all of the blessings of the universe can be open to you if you hide and you're not ready and when people confront you about certain things about you wasting your time and they just want you to see so you can start over and stop being blocked and people stop saying these things about you you know what i'm saying like for you to really have some dedication in life if you don't understand that it's like we can't help you you have to be willing to release that self and you have to be willing to release that and open yourself up to love you know because i really do feel like at this point in your life this person really really does need support and love but they have to love their self first and they have to get out of this low vibrational energy and be ready for it because at the end of the day and people not going to allow you to keep devaluing them and wasting their time. You know what I'm saying? And then you're going to wake up one day and you're going to be an old ass man. Still running around out here with your dick out. Acting like you're young. And it's like time. Listen, time waits for stops for nobody. You know? So if you want to grow old in old age and you still want to be acting the same way. I mean, it, it. I guess. I guess. Let's get over here. So what is this? This is the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So, like, this is, to me, like, you see her being exposed. I feel like someone purposely did this to expose this woman. Like, you see how he took his little staff or whatever and snagged her dress so that it could rip. And now, like, her whole body is exposed and things like that. The Queen of Pentacles is typically a woman that is of hierarchy. Um, she has a lot of money. She has a lot of kids. She has a lot of luxury around her um she likes to take care of animals she's a person of the universe and the nature she's very abundant and very beautiful you know what i'm saying she's a good cook very very domestic beautiful woman typically a mother you know so in a reverse like you could be especially if this is a man like you could be dating women that um, may be on the same low vibrational frequency. It's like you might be for, with the Knight of Wands. You might be all out for the sex, but they all out for the money. You understand what I'm saying? They all out for how things look. You understand? Like they don't value your time neither. It's like you just trying to get what you want to get and they just trying to get what they want to get. You see what I'm saying? So it's like uh, they might not have any feelings about exposing you or vice versa you see what i'm saying like it looks like the woman is being exposed here but she could be someone that doesn't have a problem with being exposed like she could be a stripper she might be used to being naked or people seeing her out there like that so this could be someone that doesn't care about the exposure you know what i'm saying and she might leak, leak some pictures like man this nigga's out here eat my pussy this this and that blah, blah blah you know what i'm saying you like hold up bitch what freak out bitch you wasn't supposed to share that shit hold on like bitch <laughs> what was done in the dark she like look you think i care like you're not my man like so this is like a woman who really don't give a fuck about <laughs> Like, she don't understand her sense of value. Like, she could possibly be a bad mother, too. Like, doesn't pay attention to her kids. Doesn't take care of her house. Doesn't do the things that a typical Queen of Pentacles should do. Like, she's all about the money chase. She's all about the grab. She's all about uh, finance before romance. She's all about the name brand clothes, the bags. the You know what I'm saying? Like, she may have all her shit together. And she may look like a million bucks, but her kid's always at the grandma's house. And you know what I'm saying? Like, some shit like that. What's going on with this girl? This is the ten of... Again. So, this is the ten of uh, swords in the reverse. So, this is, again, a card of showing that, like, the worst is over. Like, that experience has passed. Like, I'm... I've released this energy and it's time for me to start a new time for me to stop thinking about this It's time for me to stop devaluing myself by hanging around people that's a waste of my time um that's a waste of my energy uh people that have lackluster in their life you understand so it's like you might have broke away all of those chains you might have broken all of the old swords you may have like mentally purged everything that could have had anything to do with the past because you felt like you were sinking in that shit i felt like 
you were in and out running all over the place and the type of women that you were attracting were not necessary they would kind of on the same frequency as you and then toward the toilet labor in the reverse is like it was too much work you understand it's like sometimes people think that it's cool to be a player it's cool to deal with certain type of women and stuff like that like i said this is the knight of pentacles i mean the, the knight of wands in the reverse and the king of wands in the reverse so this is someone that could have had many women. You know what I'm saying? And this woman could be coming at him for money. Could be threatening to expose him, you know, to his wife or something like that or whatever. Because he could very much so be married but just not faithful to her. You know what I'm saying? Like this person is still out here on a search for love. Like true love, for real, for real. But I feel like this person needs to release the baggage because... Like, all of that shit is over, and it seems like it was too much work for you, and you just didn't want to do it anymore. You didn't want to put up with it, with it anymore. Like, the type of women or the type of men is just, like, lack of judgment. I'm tired of people talking about me. Like, I finally see this shit. It's about me getting my shit together so that I am not attracting these type of people anymore. Like, maybe I have been fucked up. And you know what I'm saying? Just... You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I have. And in the center, it's like, you freaking out. I want to release this shit. I want true love now. Like, I really do. Listen, expectation. So, it's like you may be expecting someone to come back. You may be expecting a new arrival of new love, a new energy. You've been trying to heal your heart and get over this King of Wands shit in the reverse because you know that it's lacking it doesn't bring you any positive energy it doesn't bring you any good luck or fortune it always puts you on the wrong side of justice you know what i'm saying so it's like i'm trying to heal my heart from all of that confusion and things like that and it's like you may be sitting here waiting for something new to come in to just knock your socks off like it's like i'm i've released it i don't and, and even with this queen of pentacles in reverse like you may be starting over you know what i'm saying you may have realized like I really don't have anything like after all of this that I went through, I, I walked out of the situation with nothing. I felt used. I felt manipulated. I felt, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I, I don't even want to think about it anymore. I'm not putting any more energy towards it. I'm releasing it. This person stole my time. I see that now. I'm rebirthed. You understand? I'm blocking this person. I don't even want to hear what anyone has to say about this person anymore. I love myself too much. That motherfucker high any goddamn way. What is this? This is the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles, it flipped over. So clearly it was in the upright. And then you got birth. You got the Ten of Pentacles in birth. So again, like this is like, you guys are expecting like the full package. The full package. And I did say something about expectancy of a child or like with the sun right there. Like that does mean like new birth or something like that. So you could be just like, like I said, starting all over again. If it's not a child, um, which I really don't think is a child. I really do just think that you guys are very childlike. You guys are just getting your spunk back. You feel like, you know, like when you were young and you fall in love with someone and you would feel those butterflies and things like that. And, you know, you might be inviting that person. You you might really be spending time with someone. It may be equal. You understand where it's a new creation. It's a new baby it's a new birth it's a new energy it's like i'm financially together i'm romantically together my family together my career is together my business together it's like what more can i ask for like i wake up every day just hungry refreshed and just blessed for new and newness and i'm just so happy and i'm just open to everything you know what i'm saying like And it's like this person is even like, I feel like this person is greedy. Like this person's asking for seconds. It's like, sure, I'll make you some more. And it's like, he's just sitting there. And he's hungry and he's waiting and stuff like that. But at the same time, like admiring her and her, you know what I'm saying? Like whoever this woman is, is like very domestic. She's a good wife. She's a good cook. She's just everything that someone was expecting and hoping and praying for it, you know. Birth, it says another gateway appears in view. A new life unfolds with blessings to you. You guys had to come up out of the darkness. Look, you see how even that, like, that's a dark space. Look, the healing heart card. 
someone coming out of you see how you resurging you're coming out of this dark space and now you picking a stairwell to walk a path to new birth healing heart and new birth so it looks like here this last row here you're expecting the ten of pentacles you want the whole package you want a new chance at love you want something that you can dive into you understand something that you can dive in something that you can swim in something that you could just completely just float and just let the current you know just carry you something that is god fulfilled something that is something that you've been dreaming about for a long time you're healing your heart from all of this old shit in the past where you were letting people in your life or you were being that person in other people's lives where you were just bringing a lot of misfortune, a lot of in and out energy, no commitment. It's like you're too old for this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I'm done with it. I'm past that. And I need to grow the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Too, too old to still be running around acting like a 20-year-old whore. Getting high drunk, hanging with low lights, acting like a street light, grow the fuck up. You understand what I'm saying? So it's something that happened here, Aries, that made you guys realize that I'm better than this. You see how these two are walking away? Like fuck this shit. I don't wanna hang with these motherfuckers. They don't even they ain't even doing nothing for real. You know what I'm saying? And it's like the way that they get their money or the whatever that it is that they're doing is I don't wanna do it anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, these motherfuckers might have been up there talking about, about to do something stupid. And it's like, yeah, I'm high, motherfucker, but I ain't that high. Y'all about to do something dumb as fuck. Y'all about to get locked the fuck up. Listen, y'all about to get locked the fuck up. Whatever it, robbery, whatever it is that y'all about to do that you think you about to get away with. Whoever this Aries is, it's like, yeah, nah. Because, like, when y'all get caught, I ain't, mm mm I ain't about to be y'all co-defendant because all y'all motherfuckers about to go to jail. And this is another side note. Listen, this is another side note. Somebody might be down there kissing and telling, running their motherfucking mouth. And they may, listen, okay? There may be somebody, might be other people that might know information about some type of, like, because I'm serious. I was getting, like, some street life type of stuff. Like, y'all watch yourself. Because I really do feel like there's somebody that's going to jail as well. Anyway, I love you guys. This has been your reading. Um, if this video resonated, click the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And if you want to book a reading with me, check out the description in the about tab on my page.